So this is an important talk because the tyrosine kinase inhibitors in CML are becoming generic, particularly imatinib, but uh, soon we're going to have generic desatinib in 2020-14, and uh, uh, we will have the other generic formulations of nilotinib, uh, ponatinib, and bosutinib in 2027. So it becomes then very important to choose the best TKIs for the aims, the particular aims of CML. So if survival is the end point, then imatinib generic, which is at $500 a year, uh, would be an excellent choice in terms of the survival improvement. Because if you take a patient with CML uh, who will live another 30 years with imatinib at $500 a year, the total cost of care is $15,000. Uh, which is very reasonable. Uh, on the other hand, if you choose treatment-free remission as the endpoint, then you have to use desatinib either at 50 or 100 milligrams daily, and that increases the cost to about $160,000 a year. So it's important to start looking at the cost of care of each of those TKIs and choose accordingly. Also, we know that in many of those TKIs, once the patients achieve a good molecular response, we do not have to stay at the full dose. We can reduce the dose and that will reduce the cost of care also.